In most programming languages, the operators are hard-coded in to the language, and then those operators have precedence rules. It's important to know the precedence rules for a language because they have a significant impact on how expressions are interpreted. Well, we just saw that Scala effectively doesn't have normal uh, operators that are programmed in. Instead, you can just name methods with operators. Let's go ahead and let's add a division in here so that we can do scaling both by multiplication and division. We could also come over here and do the same thing with a divide equals. So the, but this does raise the interesting question, what happens for precedence? Okay. We're expecting to see, if I do something like this, that the multiplication happens before the addition. Indeed, it does. We can see this happening on ints and doubles. So what's important to know is what are the rules governing this? And it turns out the rule that Scala uses is the first character of the method name when it's used in infix notation determines the precedence. Okay, so remember, we can make up names that have multiple symbols in them. It's the first one that, that matters. And so the precedence chart in Scala starts off of the highest precedence is anything that I'm anything else that I'm not going to write. So other special characters. The next precedence down is multiplication, division, and modulo. And so this is kind of what you're used to from math that multiplication is a high precedence operator. That is followed by addition and subtraction, or more more accurately names of methods that are used in infix notation that begin with plus or minus, followed by a colon, followed by equal and bang. Just below those are these, the less than and greater than. Now note that these are typically mathematical operators. Uh, this one we've seen used for cons to join lists. Once we get down to here, we are looking at symbols that have a tendency to start things like comparison operators. Equal equal, bang equal, the less than, the greater than. So we've moved from numeric operations generally into things that are, have generally been used for Boolean and therefore they need to be of lower precedence in order for things to work well. That is followed by the ampersand which is followed by the or, the pipe. And then at this uh, point is all letters. So anything that starts with a letter, like if we still had a method named PLUS, it would be a very low precedence. It would come after all of these things. And that's a significant rule to remember. In fact, this is another reason why it can be nice to name things with symbolic operators as long as what you are modeling should follow the normal precedence rules. Because if it does, you don't have to put parentheses all over the place. If you have something that uses a uh, letters for the, the method name and you use that in infix notation, that is a very low precedence and you're probably going to have to put parentheses if you want it to happen any earlier. At the very bottom of the list is actually assignment operators. They are kind of a special case which makes sense when you think about it. If I were to do um, this, we don't have an operator, but if, if I were to, oh, let's do this. V1 times equals three plus two. Okay. I really want this to multiply B, V1 by five, but if the assignment operator were not a special case, then the star would be a higher precedence than the plus. This would take V2 or V1, multiply it by three, and then try to add two, which would be a type error. So the assignment operators are at the lowest precedence, which is, is where you want them so that all of these expressions make sense. General rule of programming, if you aren't certain about the precedence of something, put parentheses in, okay? Be explicit about it, because there's a decent chance that if you don't remember what the precedence is, other people reading the code don't as well, uh, but these operators can help you out for getting things to be the right precedence and making it so that you don't have to put 
as many parentheses, all through your code for things that they do a good job of modeling.